Welcome to the new whereis.com. We've been hard at work making whereis better, faster, easier and clearer than ever before. This tool will show you around the new site design and demonstrate the new features to help you make the most of it. Let's start by getting a map. Let's say you want to visit a friend in Canberra. First, type the address into a search box at the top of the page, add the suburban state and click the go button. You'll notice that the map zooms automatically to your location with the address marked by a blue crosshair. You can close the address hover box and reopen it by clicking the crosshair. Now that you've found your address, you can take a look at what's nearby. You can drag the map using your mouse by holding the mouse button down and moving it to where you want to go. To take a closer look, you can zoom in and out using the slider or, if you have one, the scroll wheel on your mouse. Or if you want to get really fancy, press and hold shift, click on the map and drag your mouse pointer around an area. When the area you want is selected, just let go and the map will zoom in for more detail. And if you want to see more of the map, you can make the map bigger by closing this panel. Right, now down to the fun stuff. Want to see what's in your friend's backyard? Select photo view to get an image of the area. You can turn the street labels off and on again. Hang on, is that Kevin? Whereas can help you find places of interest such as train stations, post offices and businesses found in the yellow pages. Let's head back to Canberra and find something for you to do with your friend who lives there. Let's say you've got a confidential briefing and you want to find somewhere that's quiet where you can get a coffee. Our most popular searches are already listed in the business or place field for you, but you can also type in your own. In this example, we'll find you a nearby cafe for that meeting with your friend. If you know exactly where you want to go, just type in the address. Otherwise, use the Within Map feature, which will display all of your options on the map. You may have noticed that some cafe markers plotted on the map have a red number attached to them. This means that there's more than one cafe in that spot. To view them in more detail, just click on the icon. You'll see more information on the map view, as well as the list view. All of your search results are listed in the panel. Hover over a listing and you'll see it highlighted on the map. You'll also find more details such as the phone number, directions and other useful stuff by clicking the down arrow. Here we'll show you how to get directions. To begin, enter your start address. Where is remembers your last few address searches, so you might find it in the list. Once you've got your start point, click directions. Let's say you've got tickets to the Opera House to see a show. It's likely to be busy and parking will be hard, so you decide to walk there. Let's customise your directions to fit this. Enter your destination, in this case the Sydney Opera House in Sydney, New South Wales. Select travel by foot and click go. The trip summary says it's going to take over an hour to get there, but that's okay, you want the exercise. Word is the after party is kicking off at the Star City Casino, so let's throw that into the mix and find out how long it will take to get there. You'll need to add a stop to your journey and move the Opera House up the list to be a via instead of an endpoint. Enter Star City Casino in Sydney as your endpoint and click Go. This will then update your map as well as your trip summary and you're good to go. Here we'll show you how to share and take your map with you. You can easily print off your map here. As you can see, you'll get the map you've just viewed as well as the listed turn-by-turn -turn directions underneath. Alternatively, you can email them through to yourself or a friend if they need the map as well. Just fill in the details. Let's see from you to the boss. Type in a brief little message and click the send button. If you want others to link to the map you've created, copy and paste the URL into your emails, blog or website. The link will include your directions, search results and any other information you can see on the map. By the way, for a simple address, you can create your own link by typing it in at the end of whereis.com.
It's all free and a great way to let people know where your home, business or event is located. A lot has changed in the new where is, and your feedback has helped us shape it. So give it a whirl, explore the new site, and keep telling us what you want to see in the future.